Critics of the governor's toll plan say it may raise millions of dollars, but it lacks common sense. To, to me, it's just unacceptable. Today, the DOT released estimates for how much drivers are likely to pay if the toll plan is implemented. Here are just a few examples. A trip from New Haven to Hartford could cost $1.72 during peak hours, one thirty-six off-peak. Stanford to New Haven, one eighty peak, one forty off-peak. And Danbury to Waterbury, $1.28 versus $1.02. I think a lot of people are going to be very, very upset. And of course, that could mean pretty big chunks of change over a full year. If your commute takes you down I-91 between Hartford and New Haven during peak travel times, that'll add up to $894.40 over the course of a year. A daily round trip on I-95 between New Haven and Milford during peak travel times would set you back $228.80 a year. And a round trip on I-84 between Waterbury and Danbury during key travel times would run you $665.60 a year. They take it all, and then they want more. Tonight, Republican lawmakers who opposed the plan held a toll forum in Wallingford. The governor has a bigger megaphone than we do, so we have to do grassroots. Almost everyone in the audience stands against tolls, but a few are keeping an open mind. They argue state lawmakers need to figure out how to make out-of-state drivers pay for their share of road issues. They use the roads. They don't contribute anything to them because the only thing that we do here is fuel. They're not contributing to that. We need to do something, and if this is the best solution that we can get past the legislature, which refuses to raise taxes, then I'm okay with it. The governor has scaled back his plan to 50 gantries, which would be placed on 84, 91, 95, and 15. And Lamont is also looking at discounts for in-state residents. But it's clear here in Wallingford, he'll have to work pretty hard to convince some skeptics. More people leave the state. Um, there's going to be uh, less disposable income for people to spend uh, in the economy. Um, that's just going to be another damper on things.